Hello everyone. Welcome to Wed Talk Live. We are starting our 16th episode today. I'll introduce myself. I am Amy Allen. I'm the group publisher of Modern Luxury Weddings Chicago. And we're so excited to have our guest today. And I see Nicholas Hansen has just joined us. So if you, Nicholas, if you want to request to join, I can bring you in. So our guest today is Nicholas Hansen from Nicholas Joseph Custom Suits. And we're delving into the groom's world. We've really haven't covered that category yet. And it's obviously 50% of the equation or in many cases, 100% of the equation. So really um, looking forward to hearing from Nicholas and his expert advice. Uh, I see Nicholas, you're viewing us. You just need to request to join and then I'll add you in. So I'll be excited to see you shortly. Um, I'm gonna just talk a little bit about Nicholas's company and then how we know him on the personal side through Modern Luxury. Uh, so Nicholas uh, has created his business here in Chicago in 2005 as a leading custom suiting company, um, all made here in the USA. He is known for high quality and craftsmanship. I see custom suits we requested. Okay, just if you can request again to join and then I can push the button or I'll try to scroll down. Oh, wait, here we go. Sorry. <laughs> it's just waiting to connect. There you are. Hi, Nicholas. Hello. How are you guys? And who's with you today? This is Katie. She's one, our senior designer here. Terrific. Welcome, Katie. Thank you for having us. Yes. So. What I like to do is kind of talk about your business first, fill in our, our followers of, about you, and then we'll delve into the Q&A. So sit there uncomfortably while I say amazing things about you <laughs> for, oh, please. for just about 30 seconds. I know how that is. But I was just telling everyone that you founded your company in 2005, um, and you're founded on high quality craftsmanship expertise in the men's fashion area for custom suiting, which is exceptional. Um, you have had many accolades from the Wall Street Journal, Cranes, Esquire, CNBC, um, and as, of course in our own magazine, Chicago Social CS. Um, obviously the quality of, of your work is tremendous. Um, high respect for tailoring and construction, the fact that you have a master tailor on site and you have leading designers like Katie and Jody and Marissa on your team to help the client experience is very unique uh, to what you do. Um, I also love that you're made in the USA and you know, having that um, as a foundation, I think is shows great um, respect for, for USA product, but also that you can work with fabrics from globally, from England and Italy and Spain, because they do have beautiful fabrics, but everything is then brought, brought home here. So then flash forward 2010, you opened up your showroom in River North and you've just been booming, growing by leaps and bounds and um, directly on the, the men's custom tailor side, custom shirts, bespoke suiting, all that. But then kind of a, a shift towards weddings and tuxedos and really kind of seeing a big increase in expanse on that side, which is obviously why I wanted you on today to fill every woman on the, the groom's experience, because we do so much on the bride. We need, we need to hear from you. <laughs> what is it like wait, for, for grooms? Um, and then finally, one accolade, or a couple accolades that I think are really important so people know you a little bit more. Um, you are a member of the Custom Tailors and Designers Association, which is the oldest operating trade organization of distinguished master tailors, designers, custom tailors. That's, that's a huge, important, I think, foundation of why, again, you would be amazing as a guest to tell everyone of the experience of custom suiting and why it's, that's, why it's so essential for, for men and grooms. Um, and then you were also appointed by the, the former mayor, Rahm Emanuel, to the Mayor's Fashion Council. And your own business has gone through the Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Business Program for Excellence. So just throwing it all out there that you have got the foundation of best business practices that I've ever seen. So since you um, are marking 15 years this year, and like I said, your, your business has grown leaps and bounds, 
and in particular, your wedding bespoke business has increased. I know that you have something uniquely special. It's called the Wedding Weekend Package. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, I definitely can. Um, well, first, I, I want to say we're happy to be here. Thank you for having us. Um, and wow, what a tremendous um, introduction. I couldn't do it better myself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like you did some homework. That's amazing. It's, it's super you. cool. I was you had to remind me a couple like, things. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Yeah. It's been, it's been a while, 2005. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, some of the, the most exciting thing that we've done in the past um, couple of years is focus more on the groom because it's just fun. I mean, if you, if you can look, look behind us, we've got all kinds of like velvet jackets, all kinds of dinner jackets to work with, paisleys. Yeah, I love it. It's, it's super cool. And that kind of leads right into the groom's wedding weekend. Um, and that's where we know that there's, there's always going to be like a, a get together, a rehearsal dinner or something on the Friday or the Thursday beforehand. And then the guy's got to look good for it, right? Yeah. Um, there's several outfits, um, usually sometimes more than two or three that go into um, the weekend for the bride. So um, we got to, the guy's got to step up and represent, right? I agree. Um, well, I mean, for, for women, for the bride, it has been traditionally, what am I going to wear for the rehearsal dinner? And of course, the wedding now, you're wearing two dresses. And then you have the bridal showers and the brunches and then the, the post brunch. So of course, why wouldn't I feel like men today are definitely more fashion forward and involved in weddings more than ever. I've, I've been in the wedding industry for over 20 years. And I've, I've seen that growth of the groom side, which is, is really exciting. So I, you're spot on to have kind of more of those um, fashion options for, for grooms. That's one of the best parts is that the guys are, not only are they more involved, but they're more open to trying to, to standing out and to trying new looks. And because of the growth of all the social media, um, they've, they've been exposed to a lot more. So it's, they're even more fun to work with. I mean, what would you, so for ideas. the wedding weekend package, what would oh. you recommend for a rehearsal dinner look? And obviously the wedding is, will be more formal for the tuxedo, but what would you recommend for a rehearsal dinner look? Sure. Um, I'm going to bring in Katie because um, she works with clients all the time on this. And, and she can probably give us a great answer because I mean, like she sells these packages all the time and like yeah. works with gentlemen. Tell us, Katie. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I would say for um, the wedding weekend package for the rehearsal dinner or the Sunday brunch, um, kind of the most popular option is doing a sport. I just froze just for a second. Hang on, you'll come back, I, I promise. This happens every time. <laughs> So bear with us for a second. I think you can still hear me, but it looks like and they're going to come back in. Yep. It's, you know, it wouldn't be Wed Talk Live without a glitch happening. <laughs> that's, that's just what it is. It's live. That's for sure. So let's see if Nicholas just come back in and I'll, I will join. There you are. You okay. And they're coming in. I guess I should have music. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> it happens. It happens where, every time. So where did we lose you? Katie just started talking about uh, great options for rehearsal dinner looks. Fantastic. Okay, great. So um, kind of the most popular look for our grooms for the rehearsal dinner is to do a sport coat and a custom shirt. Um, so, do you know, depending on the feel for the wedding, the venue, and the groom's personal style, we can do something a little more fashion forward. Like, um, sometimes we'll do like a velvet dinner jacket, like you see some examples behind us. Or um, just a sport coat, maybe a fun peak lapel and a pattern, kind of like Nicholas has on today. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, a lot of times those outfits are transitioning into their regular life after the wedding, too. So, whether that be for business meetings or just kind of nights out on the town. Um, just creating garments that are going to really fit that client's lifestyle. Yeah, that is a perk. I think a plus for the groom that I think for some women, you, you buy your formal dress and it's really hard to wear that again. But I, with the groom, if it's the rehearsal dinner, like you said, the beautiful velvet sport jacket, he'll be able to wear that again. Or if you wear something more, a suit, suit jacket, for sure. It's easier that, to- That it's, is a benefit. Yeah, it's easy to talk to the practical side of the guy at that point of the groom at that point um, and, and right. tell him, hey, look, um, she may be spending four or five figures on the dress, 
but you get to rewear this or repurpose it, if you will, right, in yes. the future. So to explain to me the difference between made to measure and true bespoke. Is there a difference? And why is a custom tuxedo or suit worth the price? Why, 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 do, you, why do your men feel so happy that they've done this? Sure, there, there's definitely a difference. Um, in, I mean, we could go on forever about this because people um, in the industry do, especially in the Custom Tailored Designers Association. Without a doubt, there's a huge difference to, to everybody. But in general, um, bespoke is when, it, when the garment is handmade, bench made. It takes about 55 man hours. Wow. Um, and it's completely custom made for, for the gentleman, right? So that's what we do. That's our highest line. Uh, that's what we make start to finish in Chicago. The fabric would come okay. from Italy, come here, and it would never leave here. Um, when, when you'll get measured, then you come back for a fitting, and it's loosely basted, which, which means loosely um, sewn together so that we, can, we don't finalize it until we do a fitting, make sure it's perfect, make some adjustments, and then, find, do, and then add the final stitching to it. So that's bespoke. Um, okay. Made to measure or custom is very similar to that, although the, go the garment is, is finished and you can, you can wear it that day, but we still, um, we still have a, the allowance on the inside to be able to make small changes if we need to. Okay, Does so that, more, that more tweaking on an existing product. Yes. But bespoke is from start Be to finish. Bespoke is, is, is a process of, of heritage and, it, and, and a lot of guys kind of sign in for that and they want that. Um, they, they prefer the longer process and mm -hmm. so that the, the garment is absolutely um, molded to their body. Right, I, that would to me be worth the price for your tuxedo for your wedding day, similar to the bride's yes. gown. You know, it, it's a nine to 12 month process to get that beautiful gown, it's worth the price. So similar for, for the tuxedo or suit. Absolutely. Um, so talking a little bit about COVID, which obviously hit all of us, not a single person hasn't been affected by it in, in March, have you, had to put in place, which I'm thinking likely, new procedures or protocols um, that help make your clientele feel safe now they're coming in for this intimate experience? What, what are you doing to help them make them so yeah. feel safe? Cer I mean, certainly. Um, the, the one good thing going into it was is that we're, we're by appointment anyway, so mm -hmm. we, we can control the flow. Um, and so we've, we've minimized the number of people that are in the showroom at any given time. Um, there are, I mean, everybody can, everyone's required to wear a mask. Um, we've got gloves here. Right. Um, there's sanitizer, um, there's wipes. We're, we're cleaning it for every single client. And um, the other thing is we don't have any, there's not really any try on clothing because everything is custom made for somebody. So if somebody tries something right. on, we pin it up and we can put it aside. We don't have to worry about any, any inventory like that that other stores might have to deal with. Yeah, so you kind of have the ultimate safest experience possible. In, Thank in that you. Area. Yes, I should have led with that. Right. <laughs> I could just say that. Um, tell us also about your chic men's masks. So we wrote about in this issue, um, here's your great ad, by the way, and about your um, Be Extra oh. program. You produced on the charitable side 15,000 FDA approved masks for first responders, but then you started Be Extra. Um, mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that and then what you're doing now for chic men's masks. To, to sure. Work. Well, um, I saw one of your questions was something about, did I pick up a new hobby during quarantine? And um, I think that's yeah. kind of impossible for a lot of business owners because um, we were just so worried about what was happening. And at the time, um, for the first week, yeah, I finished Netflix in, a week, in one week. And then, right. <laughs> right. And then after that, um, we had some friends that were on the front lines and they weren't able to get, to get PPE. Um, some worked at some, some worked at great hospitals here, but they weren't allowed to talk about it and et cetera, et cetera. Um, I figured that it would fix itself. It didn't after two weeks. I had access to, um, to uh, FDA approved masks. And so we eventually ended up supplying some to um, paying healthcare organizations around here. And at the same time, we launched a website where people could buy, I'm sorry, this keeps on, I'm sleeping, um, where okay. people could buy masks and then we would match a donation to the hospital or facility of their choice, including like senior care places and, um, and the YWCA was a big one. And so um, that kept us busy for a month and a half. We did over 800,000 masks at that time. And, and wow. those were all, yeah, KN95 or like the surgical masks. So right. we, were, we were in here all the time and it was pretty wild. So um, my, what you're doing, the sleeping, you don't sleep, sleep on my end. You look completely oh, fine. Okay, cool. That happened to me in an interview a few weeks ago. <laughs> I okay. just not how you do the same thing. I'm, I don't know how to fix that one. But All right. I just wanted to shut off again. 
and lose no, you. No, yeah, we see you, but. All right, cool. Just click it when you need to. <laughs> you got it, all right. So, um, so we were doing those masks and then uh, once we were able to start up again and um, everybody has to wear a cloth mask in order to, you know, um, in order to comply and just. In Okay, so you froze again. So I think we'll do the same thing if you want to back out and then jump back on. And that might solve the sleeping problem on the phone. <laughs> yeah. We'll do take three. Here we go. <laughs> so I was saying I should probably have music. Was it do, do, do? <laughs> making light of a always awkward situation. All right, here we go. He's coming in. Again? No, no, no. You're no. back. OK. Yeah, we're good. Awesome. So fast forward to fashion masks. So we, we have oh. um, about cool. two dozen styles of these, which are awesome because they have bamboo in the games. back. Yeah, um, the styles are great but then they're super functional. You can wash them, they're bamboo in the back. So bamboo has got natural antimicrobial um, properties and it's okay. super soft. And then if you wanted to, you could, you could put a filter in there as well. There's a, there's a pocket for it. Can so, you order those through your website or do you need absolutely. to come in? Okay. Yes, you can order them through the website. We send them out all the time and, and or you can, you can pick them up here for curbside delivery. Right, and your website's customsuitsyou.com, correct? Yes, customsuits, S-U-I-T-S-Y-O-U.com. Okay, or awesome. just search Nicholas Joseph Chicago, and it, it will definitely pop Right, and then it pops up, up. yeah. Yeah, we've got good people I on. love Google for that, <laughs> like super easy. Um, okay, so what advice are you giving to grooms and groomsmen's parties? How soon do they need to make an appointment before their wedding day? I mean, especially if they're doing bespoke, what is the time frame on that? Sure, we recommend about four months. Um, and and okay. that's, that's because, um, that's for a number of reasons. One, we want, we want to make sure that everybody's comfortable um, with, with, the, with the time frame, that people aren't rushed, things happen, somebody has, like, people have to work later or longer hours, mm -hmm. they can't get around, you know, that kind of stuff. Do, can we make something in six weeks? Yeah, but let's, let's, let's do it properly and, and, um, and, and I'll be calm about the process and like, get excited about it, right? Because it's fun. Right. So, so we say, four we say about would four be for bespoke and made to measure or? Correct, correct. For both. Yeah. Okay. Do you have options if someone is um, in a hurry that, is there anything off the floor or no? Um, there's nothing off the floor. Katie, what, Katie deals with this a lot. Guys will call up. We get, I mean, like, when are you getting married? Uh, about two weeks. Two weeks, like, yeah. Whoa, 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 man. How long did you know about this? Uh, a year, a you know. Year? <laughs> Yes, but so what, how do you answer that? Yeah, um, our tailor can definitely accommodate rushes, kind of pending the seasonality and uh, what's going on at any given time. But we typically do need at least four weeks um, is ideal. So we are able okay. to help people who are in a pinch um, in a shorter time frame if needed. Yeah, we, we never want to promote the in the pinch situation because even for bridal salons, wedding gowns, we've heard over the past few years, brides are getting misinformation that they can just come in and get that dress and it's it's not the case. So we want to make sure it's important to take the time and have that time of planning. But I guess it's good to know that you can also help someone out in a pinch. Right. So um, trends that you're seeing for grooms, um, is the slim suit still a top seller? W what are you seeing? Sure, um, well, I would say slim suit, the, a, a, a proper fit is always best for the wedding, right? Um, mm -hmm. and, and the, the, the trousers, the pants is, is that that's been trending sim, uh, slim for quite a, quite a while. That's mm -hmm. still there. Um, what we're seeing a lot of is dinner jackets and, okay. and separates. So it could be a dinner jacket in a, let's see. Um, yeah, show us some, some of your products. Yeah, absolutely. So in the ad, um, we've got a, a velvet dinner jacket a yeah. paisley silk right and mm -hmm. paisley silk is over there okay and another velvet so um let me grab that one katie can you feel this question really quick and yeah. talk about like the trends that you've been that you've been selling as well as oh let's talk about 
um, Edmund in the magazine. Definitely. So um, a few other trends, definitely our clients have been not afraid of color. So like emerald green, burgundy, nice. kind of rich blue. Jewel tones have been popular for a couple of seasons now. So we're seeing that continue. Um, and like Nicholas mentioned, textures as well from velvet jackets or something paisley like a brocade. Uh, mm -hmm. For summer, people are doing a lot of linens. For fall, we'll see some tweed. So rich colors and textures are definitely very popular. And then, um, you know, from the tuxedo um, standpoint, we're seeing a lot of like wide statement peak lapels are very popular. And then the white oh. um, dinner jacket as well. So um, a client of ours, Edmund Griffin, was actually just in. Yes. I don't know if you can see him here. Yeah. Um, but he had the um, white dinner jacket made for. His yeah, wedding. Edmund looked amazing. I just put him on our Instagram yesterday. I saw it. It's awesome. style because I yeah. he looked phenomenal. And, you know, his Gucci shoes, his what, the whole thing. <laughs> he, looked, he looked great. Yeah, it was a beautiful combination for sure. Yeah, here's an example of, I don't know how much you can, yeah, you can see some sheen there. That's great. Yes, beautiful. Of the silk paisley. Oh, with cool. A, a peak lapel in black satin. Oh, I love that. So this would be this would be almost the exact same jacket. Would you mind hitting the? There we go. Almost the exact same jacket is what the the middle guy is wearing and the middle model is wearing in the ad cool. in the magazine. Um, I've got one of these, and for New Year's Eve last year, I actually made a matching pant. It was phenomenal. Nice. I um I love that the grooms are now working with color, like you said, the emeralds or. Uh, even the fabrics, the being yeah. more open on those choices as well. It's been but the white tuxedo is, is really cool. Um, so fabrics or colors like grooms who want to step out of the box even further, what are you suggesting for, for them? Like how, how wild can you go? <laughs> I mean, really that's the beauty of custom. You can, you know, go as kind of um, bold as you'd like. Um, so like one example last year is my client wanted a tuxedo, but something non-traditional. So we actually chose a plaid, a very subtle plaid fabric for the body of the jacket, um, but it still had the traditional tuxedo detailing. So the satin lapels and right. buttons and trim and all of that. Um, so it was really a very custom statement look, um, but still fit the formal wear checkbox. Yeah. Um, are you seeing the the shirts, the custom still remaining white, or are people playing with patterns on, on the custom shirts as well? I would say, you know, for more formal, it's definitely still white, but there are patterns and textures. So, um, you know, we have different, all kinds of different patterns and textures that are still in white. So in photos, it's gonna look like the most formal option, but up close in person, it does have that detail. Um, and then for our clients who opt for custom suiting for their wedding, we are seeing some patterns, um, or the novelty patterns we call it. So maybe like a micro polka dot or a little floral, not mm -hmm. like the traditional checker stripe like you would see for business wear, but something a little bit more playful. Okay. And what about uh, for cufflinks? The the cuffed shirts are you seeing a lot of? Because I th I think that's a great beautiful always. piece. Yeah. Yeah. Always, always wear uh, French cuffs, uh, French cuff shirts for mm -hmm. something formal, without a doubt. And then that makes room for, for a gift, whether it's an heirloom gift or whether it's something new. Um, there's a line that I'm testing out right now that um, will we'll, we'll custom make uh, Sterling silver cufflinks with your initials, uh, oh, the cool. two initials together, which, which are awesome. Um, and then we have, we've got a whole line of custom cufflinks that have, you, can, you can engrave them, have, uh, choose the stone for the top and for the back, and choose the metal as well. Great. I was going to ask you if you also sold custom cufflinks as well, or cufflinks in general? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Tell me, what is a zip-up insert? Okay, so um, that is for a, that's for a sport coat. Um, and what we've done is added a, is there, is the orange one in, in the back? We're having trouble accessing the, the front window at the moment because um, it's kind of blocked off from like all the Chicago things going oh, on. Right. Yeah, um, everyone who knows, um, Nicholas Joseph's location, location is River North. Yes, Great. we're, we're in River know? North. Um, people keep on asking when they're coming into town, is it safe? It's, it's super safe. There's parking yes. right in front, like a flashing light zone. Anyway, the zip up insert is awesome because um, basically it, there's a piece that zips out here, here and here. Mm -hmm. It goes around kind of like a mock turtleneck. 
and, and it, it changes it, it transforms a jacket into kind of an all weather jacket. So you can zip it off when you get to the oh. office. Yeah, cool. there's, um, we've, we've, if you take a look at our Instagram, uh, one of my favorite features of Instagram in the past couple of years has been highlights. Because mm -hmm. in highlights, we have uh, real weddings that we update all the time with, with uh, photography from our actual client, which is awesome. We've got new arrivals because if somebody custom makes a piece, it's only here as long and, until the guy takes it, until the groom comes up and picks mm -hmm. it up or, or we ship it out or whatever it is. Um, so we, we um, constantly update that as well. And then there's a different feed for sport coats, for zip ups, and you can see all of the zip ups, which are which those are selling awesome. And it's my number one piece for the. For the I moment. had never heard of it before. And I was like, I need to know yes. more. <laughs> yes, here, we've got one here. Have a zip up? Yep, absolutely. So. This piece in the middle, yeah, that'd be helpful. Thank you. So you see how this is a normal jacket, right? Yeah. And then we use the same exact fabric, or some some guys have, have opted for a contrasting fabric, but there's a zipper here, and here. Right. So this piece actually comes out, and then it's just a standard jacket. So they it also helps them. They don't have to wear an overcoat on top of their overcoat. You don't have to wear an overcoat, and guess what? You don't even have to wear a scarf because this is this is right. this covers. That's the coolest thing I've. Ever I love it's that. amazing because then look all, all you need is a pair of leather gloves and you're good to go right which we have <laughs> which all, oh good okay gloves. of course need, need yeah. gloves. pre-covid so, that was like our top seller for all our clients um in consulting and who are kind of traveling all the time because you can wear it on the plane as an outdoor piece and then take out the insert when you get to your meeting and then you have your sport coat so it's super that's funny. it's brilliant i i love it um, tell me about linings also, um, patterned linings. I mean, I can imagine for maybe the groom that wants a traditional black jacket, but wants something fun to show on the inside, what are you offering in, in, in that sure. circumstance? Yeah, so we have um, geez, several hundred lining options for the interior of the jacket. You can see this one is a paisley. So it has a dark background, but some nice rich pops of color in there. We also are doing quite often now what we call a piping. I don't know if you can see that there's kind of a um, burgundy yes. lining just on the edge there. Um, and the lining is just, you know, something to make your custom garment that much oh, more personal beautiful. to you, give you something just kind of fun, pop of color on the inside. No one else is seeing it when your jacket is being worn. Um, so just another detail that makes it more custom. Yeah. I would I would add something here. There is a there's one that really takes it over the top, and that's a custom lining. So for example, um, I don't have a, a sample here. They are definitely uh, posted to our uh, Instagram profile, um, but it's completely custom. So a guy could, for example, give us pictures of um, of he and his bride together, a family. Oh, um, occasionally, okay. occasionally the the puppy makes it in there too. Right. And then it's just a collage of them. Yeah, it's awesome. So then That's that'll be in the jacket lining as well as in the pocket square. So if you forget your pocket square, you can always pull it up and it matches the lining of the jacket. That is awesome. Yeah, it's really fun. Um, okay, so we're talking with Katie right now and I know you have also Jody and Marissa on your designer team. Tell us what makes them so essential for a Nicholas Joseph experience. Sure, we already so love Katie, but. <laughs> Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Katie's awesome. She's our senior designer. So between between Katie and Jody, we've got I think over like 18 years of experience here alone, which is phenomenal, right? Um, the best part about working with us that makes us different from other companies is that usually you're working one on one with somebody. Um, here, you've got the whole team to give you some to give you backup. Um, occasionally, guys will they'll, they'll turn to another designer and say, "Do you agree with this, or what do you think? What do you think?" Mm -hmm. um, and get. Um, a lot of this, a lot of similar answers, but at least um, they get the benefit of the of the group knowledge, right? Um, mm -hmm. Jody and Katie and I uh, were also in Italy for a week at uh, at the fabric mills, and then our tie maker, who's um, one of the little houses up in around Lake Como, which is awesome. Oh, um, beautiful! The, yeah, the, the I want to go with you the next time. <laughs> yes, please, please. The, when we can all travel again, when we're right, when we trip, trip, right. right. The linings for the jackets are also made up in one of those little homes that are up in up around Lake Como. Mm -hmm. So we got to see the process from start to finish um, and talk with the fabric experts, which, which is right. really great. Um, so the, 
the entire team um, consistently trains with the lead, the master tailor over at Oxford as well. Mm -hmm. We've been working with him for about 12 years, which is fantastic. And it's really a beautiful team approach. We've got a master tailor full time in the back here as well. I think that, I mean, you nailed it on the head. Their, their experience and their knowledge is essential. I mean, how many times do we go into a, a department store and you're probably purchasing something close to maybe what you purchase a custom and the person doesn't know anything. They're just like, here's your size and, right. and that's it. You know, so that value in itself is um, tremendous. I think um, it's important to know what is your range of pricing um, to maybe dispel the fear that they, it's not affordable. Sure. Our custom suiting um, starts at eight ninety five and goes up to about thirty five hundred. Tuxedos usually start around a thousand, and then our bespoke line made here in Chicago starts um, just under twenty eight hundred. And everything is priced depending on the fabric. So the fabric you select is what determines the price, and then all of the styling is included in the cost. So um, I know at some places, if you want to do the fun lining inside, or if you want your name inscribed, those are all added costs. But with us, um, that's all included in the price. Oh. So you don't have to worry about, um, you know, we're not going to nickel and dime you with all the little details. You want to make sure it's truly perfect to fit your personality, your personal style, um, and just make it really perfect for the day. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a huge value. And especially, again, having you as their personal designer, or, you know, Jody or Katie, that, that is priceless in itself. So I think it's really important to kind of dispel the notion that you're going to be not able to have... Um, or be able to afford this beautiful piece of uh, clothing. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so so I, I would add one thing and just say that, so yeah, um, in terms of pricing and budget, that works. In terms of convenience, it's kind of like a one-stop shop. So when you talked before mm -hmm. about the wedding weekend package, in addition to the clothing, right, we carry Magnani shoes. So that could be anything from a velvet slipper to, yes. um, to an Oxford, uh, the socks, the suspenders or braces, as you may call them, um, the bow tie, all the pieces, right? Because wardrobe can be that daunting task the guy, the groom has to check off, right? But we can just make it super easy. Right. I know my husband, he just like, when he goes into one place, like he wants to get it all done. Yes. So it's great that, I'm glad that you said that you also have the, the shoes and all the other accessories because, you know, dealing with my husband like that. Check <laughs> it off the list. Going, yep. We're going to one place and that's it. We right. do. We offer custom clothing packages as well, so um, our clients get a discount when they bundle multiple items so they can get all of the things um, in one stop. Um, and I just also wanted to mention that, you know, the price of rentals has really gone up, so mm -hmm. purchasing a custom suit or tuxedo is really going to be like, you know, maybe two times of renting something, um, you know, where you're not going to have the perfect fit or any of the customization. So um, it it's really so true. is a long-term value. Yeah, I mean, I understand, you know, rentals for, for groomsmen sometimes because they might not be of the same economic, you know, value, you know, market as the groom. But um, for the groom, I can't stress enough. It's so essential, I think, to have that custom tuxedo or that owned to own tuxedo or suit because you will. My, I know my husband from our own wedding. I mean, he still has his tux in the closet. He, he uses it. So it's it's worth it. Definitely. Um, a question from our, our Instagram followers, we had a DM and I think it was probably because I put up that really cool white tuxedo jacket on her post, but uh, been, yeah. are there rules to wearing a white tuxedo or does anything go? So and this, for is wearing, sorry, this is from Alyssa DeSimone. Okay. So for wearing white, um, it's definitely going to be for an evening occasion. Really any tuxedo is supposed to be evening attire. So anything after 5 p.m. Okay. Um, it's definitely going to be more of a fashion forward um, groom or couple, the white. And then we would just always say that we re would recommend it wearing it to your own wedding, but never to someone else's because um, similar to wearing white for the bride, you never want to upstage the couple who's yes. getting married. So um, always That's really good great advice. idea for I didn't your own wedding, about but that. not to wear it for someone else's. The same goes for a man attending someone else's wedding. Do not wear white. Yes. <laughs> That's smart. Yeah. That makes sense. Be the best dressed in your custom tuxedo, but... You might get the side eye. Yeah. Right. That's <laughs> <laughs> not good. All right. So I'm going to get into personal questions, and I'm going to actually ask both you, um, Katie and Nicholas, 
Oh, if right. you were to get married now, I mean, obviously, Nicholas side, what would you choose as your tuxedo? Or, or would you wear a suit? Do you have a particular fabric or style? And then for Katie, for your groom, what, who, what would you um, have him wear, choose for him to wear? That's a dual question. OK. Um, so you asked me first, so I'll go first. Otherwise, usually it's ladies. But we're, talk we're focusing on the grooms and the men. True, this is the groom. So, the groom goes right. first in this Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what, I would, as long as it wasn't in a tropical environment, as long as it was anywhere else, um, I would wear exactly uh, the same outfit, not the, not the exact same outfit, but the same jacket and pant that, that I told you about that I wore for New Year's, which is that, that navy silk uh, that's, paisley. That's it's, fan it's absolutely fantastic. The way that I would change it, make it different for the wedding, is by wearing a, um, you probably can't see behind me, there's this, there's this really great um, custom some white shirt but it's a white on white paisley so you can barely see the pattern um and it and then there's a covered placket so you can't see the buttons and there's no studs i would wear that with um with a larger um an oversized silk silk hand tie oh i i do love that look the the big tie yes yeah. it's fantastic isn't it like yeah. made famous by tom ford originally and then and then yep. a, several designers after that uh, but I'm we have a huge, access to those. huge fan of that look. I, I, uh, it's a little bow tie. Go, go, that really cool formal look. I love it. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And Katie. All right, Katie. What, what do you put in your groom? For, in? My, <laughs> for myself, if I were to get married again, um, I would love to see my groom in a velvet dinner jacket. I just think that the texture and the colors are just really rich and beautiful. Um, so jewel tones are my favorite. Um, so maybe like a deep blue, and then with just like a perfectly tailored custom shirt and um, a black trouser. And yeah. then the velvet Magnani the, slipper. The velvet trend as well. I, I think there's something about velvet. It's just so rich and, I don't know, you want to hug them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So um, both of you, how have you kept sane during COVID? Uh, have you picked up any new hobbies? <laughs> I know because you said with the masks. But, yeah. uh, Katie, what have you been doing to keep sane? Um, well, during quarantine, we were doing lots of arts and crafts. I have two little ones. Um, our most recent oh, thing was goodness. making a chain for our mask so it doesn't fall off and we lose it. <laughs> okay. So um, that is our kind of new quarantine craft is mask okay. chains. Crafting. I did not take up crafting. I'm not a <laughs> Somebody just showed me the mask chains are kind of like sunglasses chains. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. And Nicholas, besides masking, what else have you taken up? Besides, well, I, I, like that took 18 hours a day because, because we were in here. Um, we didn't even post any pictures because every box was like worth $2,500 if somebody would have came in here and seen hundreds of boxes everywhere. Wow. So yeah, um, it, it allowed us to leave the house, which was, which was good and enjoy the, the, the only good thing about COVID, which is like zero traffic, which is awesome. It, yep. Let's keep that, please. Let's write um, <laughs> That's what we thought too. Right. Like, I mean, it, it was, yeah, it was that. And then I'd say like a new, a new habit or, or not so much a hobby, but a new habit was just staying in closer touch with people, doing mm -hmm. a lot of the Zooms with a lot of different friend groups, you know, yeah. and family groups for that matter. I would say Wet Talk Live evolved out of COVID. We, um, Paula, my partner in crime here, we, we were getting on Zoom calls and we're like, we're used to going out to events and seeing our clients and our friends. We're like, what can we do to somehow bring that same energy? And so we, we came up with Wed Talk Live and it's been great. So I can That's see fantastic. you guys and let other it's... people come in and, and see you and learn. How many have you done so far? This is our 16th. Oh, That's fantastic. awesome. We've been weekly since the day we launched and one day a week. That's all I can manage. <laughs> But it's, yeah, it's going, it's going well, so. So I have two questions for you. One is, um, which one was your favorite? And then the second one is, do we hold a record yet for the most disconnections? <laughs> okay, I can answer that. So my favorite by far was um, right after the George Floyd murder and Black Lives Matter and understanding the black community. We were so fortunate to have on um, three powerful Black-owned women business planners, um, Akeshi from Akesh Events, Desiree Dent um, from Dejeuner Events, and um, uh, Merlene Jose from uh, Merlene Jose Events. And they really spoke truth, their experience, where we are, where we need to go. And I, I was 
and I was fresh on this Wed Talk Live. We really didn't have very many episodes out the gate, and they came on, and um, it was yeah really impactful. And it was I think important for us to see too, like we can take Wed Talk Live to to a, a serious level, you know, as well. But that, and then as far as glitches, no, I I'm not. Maybe you're my only one. I've had to log out, log in three times. But I had one episode where literally my um, camera fell over. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> um, I had, oh, and then our probably most difficult one is Debbie Lilly from A Perfect Event. Yes. We had her on and I, my voice kept on glitching. So I, I powered through the interview, but it, it just was not quality for people to hear later. So we did a take two and we brought her on <laughs> next week and it went smoothly. So, you know, such as technology, <laughs> it doesn't like me. I don't know things like that but no it's it's been fine okay so nicholas so your 15 years of business yep. where do you see your business growing in the next 15 years what is your kind of vision yeah so usually people say like three to five or maybe 10. well i was thinking you know 15 to 15. <laughs> right so, so i had to add 15 to my own age and you scared me okay <laughs> oh, no. wait no you're so young there's no uh. Baby face. I have a baby face. You do. Um, <laughs> so in, in 15 years, I would like to say, here's my biggest fear is that, is that we lose some of the, um, the skilled crafts, craftsmen that are able to hand make these suits and that mm -hmm. pass it down from generation to generation. So um, none of the guys that, that hand make the suits, there's a whole, a whole group of them. Um, none of them are, are American born, right? Mm -hmm. Because... Um, we just don't we just don't learn trades like that anymore. True. So um, my biggest fear is that is that that disappears or somehow that will go away because even as I mean you mentioned it before about the brides kind of expecting the um, instant gratification of walking it's, in yeah, and grabbing quicker, suits and grabbing the dress yeah so even as we advance um, like light years ahead in instant gratification right people are still waiting people are still willing to wait for craftsmanship. And they're kind of excited about the process. So I most, I most want to see that stay alive. I agree. I um, talk and work with Maria, or sorry, Mira Couture. Yes. Who they have seamstresses, long generation seamstresses, and they're worried too. Like we need to bring the youth into this amazing trade. And I'm hoping maybe you know with COVID or people kind of seeing like what's what kind of jobs you can go into that are stable. Like mm -hmm. this is a stable profession to be a tailor and the same from on the couture side for, for bridal. So um, I think it's an honorable profession and I hope that we can kind of build more of those um, careers for the youth. Yeah, that would, that would be fantastic to see something like that happen. Okay, so pay it forward is one of my favorite parts of this um, episode. So. Who would you like to um, name three wedding industry professionals that you work with or would love to work with? And I kind of know, I think, because we, I was helping you a little last week and making <laughs> some connections. Well, I might surprise you with, with one or two. Okay. So I'll, I'm going to name two, and then um, I'll let Katie name one or two um, who, yes. Yes. who we've all worked with together. Yes. So one, one, one that um, a relationship that, that kind of surprised me but um, didn't really was like dur during the whole COVID thing, um, just on my own personal Facebook, checking in and checking with like, it turned into like family book, you know, and all of that stuff. But um, Frank, uh, the wedding planner, like Frank by yes. design, was he, he, he's constantly popping up on my own personal one, but he, but he, he was, he was um, a cheerleader of sorts for, for just the general community of people and checking on people and checking in, yeah. and post a picture of you um, in your profession mm -hmm doing these kinds of things. And I thought that was really great. Um, yeah, he's awesome. And, I love Frank. Yeah, so so our team stayed in touch with him. He's been a great referrer of clients over the years too. Um, and and he may or may, I think he knows that a little bit, but he may or may not know how much we appreciate him. So that was awesome. That's nice. nice um, somebody we've worked with a couple times over the years um, also was uh, Caroline, the wedding dresser. Yes. Um, I'm not sure if he works, she works with you or not, but. Well, yeah, we do work with her. She's She's incredible. Yeah, she's done, she's done uh, quite a few photo shoots uh, with our clothing and we've gotten some great shots back. Um, some of those shoots have been with a, a lot of different photographers that you work with as well, like uh, mm -hmm. Karen Scott Neva, um, yes. and a bunch of yep. other folks. Um, 
so then when it comes to bridal, Katie, what do you think? Yeah, so we've been really, um, since reopening back in June, we've been really um, trying to strengthen our connection with our bridal friends in the industry, um, checking in, make sure everyone's doing okay with, um, you know, all the craziness of COVID and everything else going on. So um, the ladies at Jenny U have been awesome. And we've connected oh, with them. Oh, so good. Yes, and then also um, over at Bella Bianca, they have a brand new beautiful showroom. Um, we've been in there. I know, I was just over time. there today. It's incredible. Ooh. Really pretty, yeah. It's a great space. So um, we've just been, you know, kind of reintroducing ourselves and um, trying to strengthen those relationships with our friends in the industry. Yes, all good good people. All right, so we're our time is, we're a little bit over on time, but I think that was just due to the glitches. So I'm not going to say, but... Uh, is there anything that you finally like to share? Any special promotions or trunk shows that you want um, people to know about for their grooms? I would do that. Um, we don't have any events currently planned, just with kind of all the unknown of COVID. But we do mm -hmm. typically have um, a trunk show in the fall, so that's kind of going to be pending the environment of everything going on. Um, but for our grooms, we do have um, a special right now to get a free custom shirt with your custom suit. Or tuxedo oh. purchase um so just a okay. great way to finish their look i love it um and so everyone can find you on instagram at custom at custom, suits. At custom suits you um it's also all the social pr pr uh, properties are at custom suits you so it's custom s-u-i-t-s y-o-u same great. same with the uh the website as well well, I, I can't thank you enough for being on our show today. You were a wealth of information. I learned a lot. I, I love the, the zip the zip up insert. <laughs> there's, yes, there's so send much your husband else. in. We'll take care of him. <laughs> Learning about the trends, all of that. So, and we're so appreciative that you're a partner of ours in the, the Weddings Magazine. So thank you for that. Um, and I hope to have you back on again soon. But thank you again for being our guest and stay well and stay healthy. Thank you so you much. You as well. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. All right. We'll see you soon. All right. Bye.